Watch the first part to get understanding about the main character Jigsaw. Link is in the description. The movie starts exactly at the ending of part I where Detective Eric is bound in the lavatory. His feet were chained tightly. He fractures his foot beating it with the commode piece in order to free himself. Afterward, a man is shown who has been entrapped by Jigsaw. He was chained completely. The TV switches on placed in front of him where Jigsaw comes on the scene. Jigsaw tells him, he will have to pull all the fixed chains on his body if he wants to free. It was really painful. If he does not complete this task according to the given duration of time then the place bomb near him will be exploded. He will surely die. Then he pathetically tries to unchain his entire body. However, he is unable to pull all chains in the allotted time. So he is dead with the explosion of bomb there. Then some police officers enter the same room after breaking the door. This case was being dealt by a girl who was the assistant of Detective Eric. That girl tells, this is not the trap of Jigsaw because the door was sealed through welding. It means, the victim's death was sure even he was able to unchain himself. Then that lady police officer is shown in her house who was investigating the case of Jigsaw watching Jigsaw's footages in her house. Afterwards, the live video is played of Jigsaw on the screen of TV. As she moves there for checking, a person wearing a pig mask kidnaps her while coming there. Waking up, that girl finds herself entrapped. There was also placed beaker of acid in front of her. Her ribs are also hooked and TV is on by and large where Jigsaw appears in the video. He tells, the key of unlocking the trap is in the beaker of acid. That key will be dissolved into that beaker of acid if she did not get that in the given time. And that trap will become the cause of her death, activating itself. That girl tries to unlock her trap after getting the key from that beaker of acid. But regretfully, that trap does not open. Activating itself, that trap breaks her ribs. And she is dead tragically. Here a thing is clear that all set traps in the part 3 are difficult to open by the victims. It means, his death is certain. This trap cannot be open even after following all orders. Then a lady Dr. Lin is shown in the hospital who had some personal problems in her life. A pig masked person again appears and kidnaps her when she is going back to her house. Lin wakes up at the location of Jigsaw. Then Amanda comes on the scene. The hidden face after the pig mask was not of another person but Amanda. Amanda takes Lin into that room where Jigsaw was lying on the bed. Then Amanda adjusts a trap on her neck. Jigsaw tells her, he is suffering from cancer. Lin has to help him for the safety of his life. And Lin will be released from this trap if another victim completes the three tests. And she is also warned saying, if she tries to escape or Jigsaw suffered bradycardia heart rate, the fixed trap on her neck will be activated, leaving her dead. Then the other victim who had to cross the three tests of Jigsaw is shown. He is in the box whose name was Jeff. Jeff had a son who was dead during a car accident. As a result, he had become drunkard and mostly remained in this condition. He used to ignore his younger daughter not caring for her. He was taking revenge of his son's death from his daughter. This is why Jigsaw has him entrapped. In his box, Jeff discovers a tape recorder. Jigsaw informs him that three tests will lead him to his son's killer, in which he must appear. Amanda informs Jigsaw, Jeff's tests have started. While Lin tells Amanda, it is essential to hospitalize Jigsaw because of his unstable condition. But Amanda refuses it clearly, minding it. Jeff's test was in process, he meets with a girl in the first test. The reason behind it to entrap her was this as this girl was only the witness of that car accident Jeff's son's death. But she did not help Jeff and his son. That girl was kept in a meat freezer. She requests Jeff to help her and he also egress but of no avail. Because her whole body is frozen when all taps are turned on in that room. She is dead because of the frozen ice on her whole body. Jeff's second test leads him to that judge who had tackled his son's case. Sentencing six months prison to the killer. That judge had been thrown into a pit after chaining his neck. If Jeff wants to rescue that judge, he will have to burn all the toys of his son so that he may get the key of neck trap of judge. Contrarily, if Jeff restrains himself to bring that judge out, that pit will be filled with the pig's mints after grinding them in a big grinding machine. And that judge will be dead. Judge convinces Jeff to help him as a result Jeff burns all the toys of his son. Finding a key, he immediately rescues Judge, opening his trap. On the other side, Jigsaw's condition was worsening and Lin operates him under her treatment. This operation is successful and Jigsaw starts liking Lin during this time. But Amanda dislikes it. Amanda remembers those days when she was the co-worker with Jigsaw. Then a scene of part I is shown where Amanda was beating a boy violently. One thing is clear here that she was Amanda who was making such traps which were unbreakable. In the third test, Jeff reaches the killer boy of his son. That boy's body had been clutched with the heavy machine which will twist his limbs gradually, putting him into death. The key of that trap was tied with a shotgun's trigger. That gun's trigger is pressed while taking out the key, and Judge is killed accidentally. And it also activates that trap, causing the death of that boy. Jigsaw was pouring wax on the tape recorder and also taking some personal details from Lin. 
Discovering an envelope of her name, Amanda is got upset and starts weeping while checking the papers inside it. Amanda informs Jigsaw coming to him, Jeff has covered his three tests. Jigsaw commands her to release Lynn because Jeff has completed his assignment. But Amanda disagrees with Jigsaw saying, she does not think right on Jigsaw's decision. No one should be given the chance of survival. She also tells, she has again attacked Detective Eric, leaving him to die there when he got free from the chains. Amanda wished, no one should be given any chance to live. Jeff finds a pistol with a paper of his written name. Jeff moves slowly towards Jigsaw room, taking a pistol. Meanwhile, Lynn falls on Jeff when Amanda fires her gun on her. Jigsaw reveals to Amanda that Jeff is Lynn's husband. And Amanda has taken four lives by firing her gun on Lynn. Jeff fires his gun on Amanda getting furious and that shot hits Amanda's neck. Jigsaw tells Amanda when she was taking her last breaths as he had arranged all these tests for Amanda. Because she was making some unavoidable traps for a long time. It means those traps cannot be cracked. And she should not take the life of Lynn for the accomplishment of tests. It means she broke the regulation. And Jigsaw never wanted to proceed his work through a killer. Jigsaw offers Jeff he can call an ambulance for Lynn. He will have to clear one last test for it. The test includes, either he should forgive Jigsaw or slay him while cutting his throat. Then Jeff proceeds towards Jigsaw, taking a power saw in order to cut his throat. Jigsaw is smiling at that time. Jigsaw plays a tape recorder as Jeff cuts his throat. Hearing the tape recorder, Jeff comes to know that he has flopped in his last test. It means, he had to forgive Jigsaw to pass his test. Because, Jigsaw has secured Jeff's daughter in a secret place. Now she was going to be locked for forever. Jigsaw was only one who had the knowledge of that place. As Jigsaw dies, his heartbeat stops working and the fixed trap on Lin's neck is also exploded. At the end, Lin's dead body is shown with many other dead bodies. And this movie is also ended here. It should be clear here that who were those four people about whom Jigsaw had said, their lives have destroyed. They were Lynn, Amanda herself, Jigsaw and Jeff's daughter. It means, Amanda had destroyed the lives of four people after killing Lynn. In this part of the movie, it is shown that Jigsaw's post-mortem test is being conducted. Because Jigsaw was killed in the third part of the movie, doctors remove the different parts of body of Jigsaw, and they find a microcassette in the stomach of Jigsaw. And it is the same microcassette on which wax was poured by Jigsaw in part 3, so that he may engulf it easily. This information is provided to the police officers. Then Detective Hoffman arrives there. This microcassette is actually for him. Hoffman is compelled to think Jigsaw's dead body is lying in front of him. In spite of this thing, he has left a message for him while dying. The left message for Hoffman is he is also the part of Jigsaw's game now. Then two men are shown who had been entrapped by Jigsaw. The lips of one of them were stitched, while others' eyes had been stitched. It was done so that they may not communicate with each other. The chains were set on their necks which were connected with the placed machine amid that place. That machine was pulling the chains while twisting. They had to free themselves before they were dead, being crushed into that machine. And the key of their trap was on the collars of each other. The person with stitched lips glimpses of his key. But the person with stitched eyes cannot glimpse his key. Now it was clear that only one may be survived. One person has to secure his life so he takes step forward to take his key. But it was not a piece of cake to get key. Killing other person, he takes the key. And he releases himself. Police officers reach Jigsaw's previous location. There is a senior detective rig. They discover the dead body of Detective Allison there, who was dead at the starting of Part 3. But that dead body was still hanging at that trap. Then two senior detectives male and female come on the scene. They both know Allison because she was also a detective. They both had come here to investigate Jigsaw's case. Male senior detective is wise. He understands this trap does not belong to Jigsaw and Amanda, because they cannot adjust the heighted trap. It was obvious that there was someone who accompanied both of them. At the same night, Detective Rig is attacked by a pig-masked person. He finds himself in the bathtub of his house as he restores his consciousness. The message of Jigsaw is played there which reveals that he is also the part of Jigsaw's game. He is told that he has to rescue the trapped Hoffman and Carrie within 90 minutes even to himself. Amanda had left Carrie to die who was still alive. After releasing, Jigsaw had imprisoned him there for the last six months. Now Rig had to pass some of the tests to reach both of them. His first test is conducted in his own house. He notices in a room a seated girl on the chair wearing a pig mask. This girl has tape recorder in her hand. And there was a written statement on the wall, see what I see. Jigsaw's message plays as Rig proceeds to that girl. It is not the task of Rig helping that girl whether that girl needs it. So it is better for Rig to leave her trapped. It was also the cause because that girl had committed many crimes in her private life. Jigsaw had already clued him as see what I see. Here Rig's habit is also exposed that he had a ruling passion to rescue the lives of the people, even if he had to get lost in this ruling passion. He comes near that trapped girl. Unmasking her, that trap is activated. At first sight, that girl's skull begins to detach. Somehow, Rig saves her life. 
but that girl attacks Rig in return, because Jigsaw had conveyed a message to her through tape recorder as Rig is coming to capture her, and she will have to kill Rig to release, but Rig ends her in order to save his life. He proceeds to his next test. Contrarily, police officers approach Rig's house, where they get many evidence as victims' photos and related files. There was Jigsaw to entrap Rig not anyone else, and they also discover the dead body of that girl who was dead a few time ago, and they think Rig is also the part of Jigsaw's game. They also meet Jigsaw's ex-wife, and they start inquiring from her. Following the instructions, Rig reaches a hotel, where Rig knows through the tape recorder of Jigsaw that hotel's manager is mean who has committed many crimes in his life and he also physically harassed the people. And there are also crime videos and photos of hotel manager. Getting aggressive, Rig entraps manager. And a task is given to the hotel manager that he will have to blind his both eyes in the limited time. But he is able to blind the only one of his eyes according to the limited time. As a result, that trap is activated because of cross time limit. And his hands and feet are detached from his body, leaving him dead. Jigsaw's wife reveals that Jigsaw was a civil engineer, and he has shares with a well-known company. She tells she used to serve in a clinic. One day, she was leaving after closing her clinic and she is with Jigsaw. Then a thief breaks into the clinic. When that thief begins to escape after robbing, he hits the door with the abdomen of Jigsaw's wife which causes her interruption of childbirth. And Jigsaw's life takes a turn from that time and they are separated. And Jigsaw plays a game on their victims while entrapping the people from that time. While investigating the hotel, detectives come to know that man is registered with the name Art Blank. He was not the stranger but the business partner of Jigsaw. The most surprising thing is this, he was also disappeared a few days ago. Now Rig visits a school to clear his third test where he had already visited. It was the case of a little girl whose father used to mistreat her. But Rig had no evidence to prove it. Because that girl had given the false statement under the pressure of her father. Rig notices that girl's parents who were connected with each other through the metal spikes. And only one may survive between them. Here Jigsaw also tries to explain Rig the same thing as save as I save it means. Take your way after leaving them on their condition. But not following the instructions, Rig rescues that girl's mother. Senior detectives also visit the school for investigation. And in one of the school rooms, they observe the puppet of Jigsaw Billy. And that puppet is exploded while coming near it to check. Consequently, female detective is wounded. During investigation, Jigsaw's wife reveals that being depressed, Jigsaw had stopped working with Art Blank. Jigsaw tries to commit suicide, knowing his cancer disease. An accident occurs but he still remains alive. Right after this, he starts his game, entrapping the people. That senior detective gets knowledge about a place after collecting all evidences. It was the last location of Rick. Then Eric is seen who had been set in standing position on an ice block. Hoffman had also been bound with Eric. Eric will be hanged if ice melts or he is slipped on it. Moreover, Hoffman will also be dead because of the electric shock. The person who has entrapped them was not anyone else but Jigsaw's business partner Art Blank. But surprising thing is this here that Art Blank is the victim of Jigsaw not crime partner. And he had also a trap on his nape which will cause his death in case of not accomplishing the task. He was waiting for the accomplishment of 90 minutes. Completing 90 minutes, Carrie will save Eric, Hoffman and himself while pressing a trap button. Eric's connected devices on both sides will be connected if someone opens the door before the assigned time. As a result, his head will be shattered. Hoffman will also be dead along with him. Meanwhile, Rig also approaches there, and Eric warns him to not open that room's door. Eric fires his gun on Rig which was given to him by Art Blank, but Rig enters before completing the left one second. He opens that door. As a result, both traps explode the head of Eric after activating themselves, and his head is shattered. Rig thinks that Art Blank is responsible for all these doings, so he fires his gun on him. Then place tape recorder near Art Blank is played, and a message is conveyed to Rig that he has failed in the final test of Jigsaw, because his ruling passion to secure people was wrong in some cases, because it seems risky to save the life of someone in some conditions. Now it was essential to assure Rig that he has not been made a helper for everyone. It was the cause that Jigsaw had planned this game for him. Assigning him tasks, Jigsaw wanted to explain to him, but Rig did not get lesson from this game. Contrarily, he lost the game. Being patient, Eric, Hoffman and he himself might be saved. Now the story takes a crucial turn which is surprising. As Hoffman was still alive. It means Hoffman has been the partner of Jigsaw after Amanda. Hoffman goes, leaving Rig in the same dying condition. In the end, the starting scene is shown. Where the postmortem test was being conducted. Because it had been decided before the postmortem of Jigsaw. The found microcassette from Jigsaw was the message for Detective Hoffman due to this reason. That Detective Hoffman will continue the game of Jigsaw. It means this game of Jigsaw should not stop even after Jigsaw's death. The end. Subscribe for more upcoming part of this film. Bye.